Hey guys, welcome to Wrench to Drive Clone TRX4 Parts Edition. Yes, check these out. Injora has come out with a set of TRX4 axles. As near as I can tell, my friends, these are a straight up 100% TRX4 axle clone. I've looked at them in uh, fairly significant detail and the biggest thing to note guys the gearing is exactly the same so if you broke one TRX4 axle you know you did some serious damage you can easily sub in one of these and you will not have a gearing problem now I ordered a set of these so stay tuned in the near future I will be uh, doing an in-depth deep dive cracking them open having a look see what the parts look like see if they're any good the gears are metal the housings are plastic these are very much uh, a straight up uh, clone job guys straight up ripoff uh, yeah they're they're quite a bit cheaper though from Jenny's RC you can get a set of uh, TRX 4 axles where I live for about 160 bucks to your door something like that these are 110 to my door so 50 bucks cheaper and uh, I, I really like the, uh, the Chinese alternatives because it just makes the hobby so much more budget friendly for people. And for the most part, if you treat the parts a little bit more gently than you treat, you know, the name brand parts, they're actually not that bad for the most part. Some stuff is garbage. As if you saw my last video on some WL Toys metal parts, total junk. Injura stuff, in my experience, is not that bad. It's definitely functional. Not as good as Axial, not as good as Traxxas, pretty functional. The big thing about uh, Traxxas axles, guys, they are super, super strong. Okay, so these are uh, unlikely to be just as good. Okay, straight up, not going to lie, it's really unlikely these are as good as Traxxas because it costs money to make axles bulletproof. But have a look at this, guys. It's got the T-lock, so locking and unlocking. That by itself, guys, is worth money because in a crawler, having the, uh, the, the locked up spool, that is hard on parts. Having the ability to unlock the differentials in these guys, you drive around unlocked on the trails, much easier on the car, guys. So, you know, these axles, I tell you, it's, it's unlikely that they're going to be super, super weak or anything like that. And as you can see, if you've looked at the, uh, the Traxxas uh, axles, these are... I mean, very, very similar. I'm, I'm really curious to compare them head to head and see how much difference there is. Look at that beefy pin there. You know, it looks like it's going to be really, really solid. That's the pin that takes all the torque. Look at these nice, uh, nice metal, metal gears. Ah, I mean, these should be pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm really curious. All right. So as I mentioned, you know, I've got them coming, and I, I will give you an in-depth. You know, are they any good? Do they look solid? Uh, my plan for these is not to beat the crap out of them. My plan for these is to use them in, uh, in, in basically a, you know, a nice looking crawler that I'm crawling with, that I'm driving on trails with, that I'm not, that I'm not beating the crap out of. Uh, those Traxxas axles that I bought before Christmas, my plan is actually to probably treat those harshly. To, if I'm going to run hard, if I'm going to, if I'm going to abuse something, to abuse those because I know those will take, you know, those will take it. Those, those will not break easily. These why wreck them just to wreck them guys especially right now there are no uh, there are no replacement parts available that I've seen uh, well, I'll double check that on the site here once uh, I'm finished showing them to you but uh, yeah you know you don't want to you don't want to break stuff until there's parts available so keep that in mind as well even something as simple as the housings if you break a housing right now as far as I know you can't get a replacement housing now the important thing gearing like I said 11 tooth pinion 34 tooth ring nine tooth output to the uh, to the uh, portal 20 23 tooth portal gear that is the same as Traxxas and I mean everything on these looks good guys they look real real solid so my expectation is these will be pretty good now let's have a look see here so as you can see 110 bucks actually that's gone up a little bit they were slightly cheaper than that before this is Canadian dollars so US dollars it's going to be something like 80 to 90 much cheaper for for Americans good steering angle T-locks hardened steel internal gears high strength links here's your gearing 1134 923 so that's nice the measurements the weight 
both combined is about a pound. I think that's similar to the Traxxas. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Gives you the measurements. You get the high ground clearance. Yeah, it should be pretty sweet, guys. should be pretty sweet. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel. Down the road when these show up, I will give you a detailed look. So uh, by all means, link and subscribe and uh, share the wealth. Uh, whether these are the, the be-all and end-all for you, I would say if you're going to beat on your car, go Traxxas. If you're going to be gentle with your car, if you just, uh, you know, if you treat it nicely, these are probably going to be pretty solid. But stay tuned. We will have more information for you down the road. See you next time on Wrench to Drive, where we ask the eternal question. Do you drive to wrench, or do you wrench to drive?